if we go over the code we can see that we first get a string which is a full path to the file we want the camera activity to create on the SD card and save within that file the image data then here we create a URI object that refers that uh, specific file uh, from file is a factory method in URI we just need to pass over the reference for the file object that represents uh, the very specific file on the SD card this file then when we create the intent the intent that is about to start the camera activity we add extra data into it if we add uh, the extra data with the key extra output and a value which is a URI object that refers a specific file then the camera activity will save uh, the photo it takes uh, to that file then when we call the start activity for result we uh, start the camera activity uh, when the camera activity completes then on our end on activity result is invoked and here the first thing is getting the reference for the image view object that represents uh, the image that will be displayed on screen then here we get the uh, dimension width and height of the Android device display and then here in this code we get the width and the height of the image itself when using the bitmap factory dot options object we can um, actually avoid fetching the data itself something that uh, costs uh, resources on the Android platform calling the code file function uh, that was defined within the bitmap factory passing over the path to the file we want to get its data together with a bitmap factory options object configured with the in just the code bounds assigned with true the meaning is that there won't be any uh, uh, actual um, cost in terms of performance we will just uh, get the width and the height of the image itself later once we decide how if at all we want to uh, resize the image then when we assign false to the in just the code bound um, property then calling the code file will get us the file itself the data itself so we could display it on screen